Okay, so let's look now on the influence tab. And this is kind of fun tab because we can start working a little bit more with the interesting shapes. And we'll look first on the axis preparations. And you can see right here we have it property for the string. And this is will take frequency generators and will apply to change shape. So for example, let's go to create seven quite a bit strong. And you can see right here we have all these interesting shapes applied. Kind of squarely. Uh, we do have it also options to select as a random or enable effect. For example, if I'm less going to the top, more on the bottom, so we can do through the hour graph, we can say where we want this influence to take effect. Okay, let's go click OK. Same if we select related to the parent as well. Uh, make planner, it's make flat on one side. So let's go set it as one. And you can see right here we have a distortion, but if we go sideways, it's still straight. This is very useful if you create a roots. So in some case, you don't want to say one roots go underground. In some case, maybe just a little bit but the shape may be, be lost. On this case, you can create um, like ivy maybe on a wall or roots maybe crawling on the ground. So you can, by using enable make planner, you can create just in one dimension. Same things, random and also influence. A frequency, for example, right here, we can have a 10 and you can see now we have too many generators. Imagine this is how many times it will apply. It. So it's a lot. You can also go going less 0.5 or less depend on how much of these distortions you want to apply it. and apply after basis. And if you remember before we have some ability to modification for the base. So this is will take in calculations of the other effect and apply on them on the basis or you can do before. So it depends by default after basis after the global effect applied. So it will be linked a little bit better. The wing, uh, wind sensitivity, it is how much this flexibility will apply with the wind. So example right here, we have it um, enable wind. And I think our flexibility is set anyway very stiff because it's a trunk. But right here we can also create you know additional effect applied beside um, what we have and hunger it is quite a bit high I put it but the reason is why because we do have okay let's change string of the wind maybe you know leave it position and very crazy string so you can see with the wind how much we applied it is will flexibility. This is nice because it will apply to all segments and you can create a segment that may be very flexible or some branches that don't have it leave. Just example branches with the leaves may have it uh, more influence on flexibility and dead branches without leaves. If you create other ones, you maybe want to take flexibility down so they don't shake the dry kind of branches and you can create this very natural effect. Okay, so let's go back and reset to one. We also have an influence on a, um, well, let me disable wind. We also have an influence on the blades. And this happens when you enable blades. Okay, in this case, this option tag is enabled for you as well. And you can see because the blades have a much um, more acceptance to the wind, then they will be working as well. And the same things, how say you can go to just opposite and make less or more acceptance to the wind. Okay, um, next, let's go look right here. We have it ambient motion breeze. And if you work, have a chance work inside the view, you notice you have it properties for the breeze and for the wind. Breeze, it is allowed just slightly movements not directional kind of wind, make more natural look on the plants when they're animated. In this case, you can also enable. And you notice when I enable, it says apply effects, primitive bonds, instructions. So do you want to continue? For example, we click yes for now, but it will apply slightly. And we can have a string effect on the breeze as well if we need it. You can see on a trunk, now it's applied a little bit more beside that. 
Uh, we do have it override a breeze additional properties. So let's go for example. As have it rotation for the breeze if we want Z axis and additional properties for the breeze that will be saved with the plant. So when you import in a view, you will have it some of those properties in the breeze. And it's depend um, on what plant you're creating. Okay, notice also we have it motion available for not just this for the trunk, but this one available also for the blades itself. So we have it motion breeze, ambient motion breeze just for the blades. So it's not necessarily affecting to our wind. Let me disable this one for now. And the same things, we have amplitude and frequency, how often, how small frequencies will be of the gust of the wind going over. Okay, I also speak about gas right here. We have it wind gust in motion that will apply it. Same we have it gravity that is influenced on specific segment. So we can go very crazy with gravity. And in some cases it will apply just a little bit more to this. Okay, let me just set this one back to zero. We have it also power of the wind, which is affecting. And we have it a bone boost. It is connection between the segments. Imagine the segment is a bone, so we have it between um, bone boost between. So it's just applied more. Overall, all this wind influence, they help you to create more natural look and depend on what type of plant you can see in animations, you can apply a little bit more stiff applying to the wind or more flexible and more bending with that kind of like stiff breaking. So in specific areas. Okay, so let's disable wind. Oops, actually enable this one for now. So right here, gust and motion on the blade, same when we did it on a trunk, same things applied to the just the blades. Okay, let's disable that one here. Okay, next you notice we have a global base. Okay, and you notice right here on the base, currently we have it only directional base. It's mean in one area and we can apply what a string of this we can affecting. Uh, one interesting things about when we have it a little bit different type of the base, when we have it with local base, we can actually twirl to create a very nice spirals or other thick with the, but for the base right here, we have it uh, global base, we have a string. So if we enable local one, you notice now we have it all this different type. We have a directional, the make segment like band, for example. Okay, let me, you know what, go back here and I'll disable plan for now. Okay, and so we'll just have it one string. So notice right there, I kind of applied string, but it does not seem to do any effect. The reason is why, because we need to apply also direction. So if we go to the X, you can see how much it is applied in directional X. We can apply also in Y or Z, any other ones. So you can apply all these um, directional forces. In some cases, uh, how I say we can create very nice spiral in this case. Let's go this way and let's, you know what, 0 0.1. So effect. Um, next, we can also have it planar. And a planar makes the segments growing as if trying to align itself with a plane. So it's these make a natural way. We also have it other ones is attractor. The attractors um, will towards the point. So, for example, if we have a point set, that will be try to attract this towards this point where we set on the area. Okay. Next, we have it X repeller, and this one is make segment grow as far away as possible from axis. So again, if I select one, for example, one, it will force it going a little bit grow away from the area where I selected. Okay, next we have a swirl. This one is actually fun kind of, because you can see almost like bean stock going around. We can again, make a as strong we want it. And you can also adjust which one you want. For example, this is just an, an X. Okay. And we can have it 0 
to, for example, X a little bit, 0 0.8 on a Y. And now we have a little bit more different. So you don't necessarily can, if you do mechanical, you can make springs this way very easy or other um, kind of shaping. But overall, I like this swirl. It's kind of look very nice. Um, next one is a curl. So it will go around this way. So let's go set zero right here, zero on this one. Okay. And now we can apply different effects. So Z, let's go for 0.1. And we can affect string, so it will go a little bit more. So, you know, let's go one to this one. Too much, 0 0.2. And we'll need increase probably link. So let's go link 50. So we can look a little bit more. And right there, you can see we kind of already start, but it's take a little bit adjustments. Okay, let's go use local coordinates for this. Okay, and right there, you can see how it's already applied, kind of make all this curl. We can um, also create different adjustments. that will help us to create nice curly around. And in some plants, you can see I was doing this by manipulating with a string, with a, how much we want to apply on a curl, another effect. And it's great, very interesting, this kind of spiral things going around. Okay, let me go back and switch to 10 segment. And with this uh, local base, how say you can play a lot, I like to um, readjust directions, coordinates using relative, so I can have a um, different effect on this. Again, local coordinates will be related to the segment itself, and relative will be depend if your location. So if I have it branches, and I will want to enable relative, so in this case, the branch will start growing relatively to um, size and dimensions where the plant located. So in after curl, we also have a twist, and the uh, this is will rotate around all axes. So we can go a planner right here. And right now we kind of don't see it because we want enable blades for this. Okay. And it will be kind of twisting. I don't see right at this. Okay, there you go. So we don't want plan planner for this one, list selecting. Maybe a little bit too much. Let's twist less. There you go. You can see it's kind of start take them and twisted these uh, blades around because our trunk it was just straight. If we have it, some elements going around the trunk, you'll see twisted a little bit better. Okay, let's go five should be enough. And you can see right here we have it um, a little bit five twist around happening. Okay, again, planner, it will just go in one plane. We don't necessarily need this as example, uh, but you will probably use it if you have it specific elements on a trunk, but you don't want to affect the branches. Okay, um, this is, for example, apply only to free floating. We can have it to entire segment if we have it. Okay, or only part that growing on an object. So if we have it uh, branches and those parts, this we can apply just to them for now. Let's go just select a free floating, whatever adjustment. Notice when we select a local base one, we have it appear local base two. So if we enable this one, you'll notice we have it now third one appear. So we can add more than one effect. So for example, if we want twist here and we want swirl maybe on this. Okay, let's go apply this one. And there you go. We have it apply all this different. So you can have it in the house say this is influence very fun top you can apply all these different effects and you can add more and more and more to that okay one last one let's look on the interaction and interaction it is um, allowed us to interact with the ground or object or object in ground for example if one go around some object or grow over this like a roots 
I will say interact with this and enable my interaction with object this way. We'll look on this a little bit closer when we start um, creating some more interesting effect like roots maybe going over or plants growing around the wall or other things. But for now, just notice in the influence, we also have interactions, how will um, it's affect the section, how the segment will interact with surround objects and or ground.